to the grocery store we're pretty low on food so it's gonna be a big haul today but i am on my way to aldi's i am a sucker for a good deal and aldi's is very cheap and if you pick the right foods you can get some really good healthy options so i just thought i'd bring you guys along and kind of show you how i pick out particular foods for my grocery haul we're gonna be getting groceries to last us about a week which dang it i did not look at how much meat we have in the fridge or in the freezer so i'm gonna have to guess on that shoot otherwise i got a big list plan we're just gonna go through it and pick up everything we need so before going into grocery shop i have a game plan i have my list of food that I know I need to pick up, but then I'm also thinking about the categories of food that I need. I know that I need food to make my main meals, so I know I need a protein, a carb, and vegetables, and then I also know that I need my snacks. So when I'm going throughout the store, I'm of course thinking of my list, but I'm also thinking of my meals, kind of how those foods fit within those categories, and that helps me pick out the best foods. So we got the game plan, we got the quarter, we're gonna go ahead and head in. I just remembered my list is on my phone and my phone is recording so this might be difficult. <laughs> we'll make this work. First thing is like the snack aisle. I freaking love these. I'll use these as like a little snack or if I want a sweet treat. Um, I can have six of these and they're only 130 calories. Um, they're lower in fat, so that's good. So I use this as like a carb snack. They have chocolate chip ones and they have coconut ones as well. Feeling the chocolate chips. Okay, I know we need salsa. So they have a whole bunch of like canned salsa. But, I mean, this is organic too. So I try to find the most like natural food selections they have here. Um, but I know that they have a non-canned version of salsa. And I think I'm going to get that. So I'm going to wait a little bit. But we have chips at home for it. Coming up on the bread though. I know we need more of that. So right now I'm thinking of like my carbs for breakfast. Jacob loves bagels. So I'm going to pick up some of those. I just like getting the plain ones because you can do a lot. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> you can do a lot more with it. We have, um, everything bagel seasoning so i like to put that on there and that adds the flavor but you still have the plain bagel so if i want to put it with like jelly or something like that you can make it more versatile put it that way bread we are going to get whole grain so when we get bread i like the taste of honey wheat better but it is a little bit more processed so they take more of the um, good nutrients out of it so going with whole wheat it's just a little bit of a healthier version um, so we're just going to go with that produce here so like fruit wise honestly a hit or miss last time i got a bag of apples and it was kind of gross but if you get the apples where you can like hand select them they are better, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to grab two, because I know I got some at home still. Okay, let's get some berries. Okay. 
Okay. Their strawberries look decent today. We'll get some of that. I like raspberries too. Mm. Oh yeah. Key, take the top box off. Because the ones underneath are usually fresh, fresher. These look good. So again, I'm just thinking about fruit that I want to have in the morning because like I said with my main meals I have a protein carb and vegetable but in the morning I will sometimes substitute my like vegetable for a fruit so got those I do like mushrooms only thing is that I feel like the mushrooms that we buy at Aldi's go bad so much quicker but these look decent today so I'm going to get some. I love putting mushrooms in my eggs, which that's another way that you can get more vegetables in the morning and not really notice it. <laughs> Put them in your eggs. Um, I got spring mix at home. Otherwise, I usually just get like the big tub of it. Big key with that to make sure it doesn't go old. Once you open it up, take one sheet of uh, paper towel and put it in the container. So it's just like sitting on top of your lettuce and then it will last so much longer okay moving on Ooh, potatoes i haven't had a sweet potato in so long but i don't know if i want to buy a huge batch of them i mean there's only four of them yeah we'll get sweet potatoes otherwise sometimes if I don't want sweet potatoes, we'll get like these little tiny golden potatoes. Um, we just haven't had sweet potatoes in a really long time. So I'm going to mix it up with that. And that's another thing too, like when you're eating healthy, doing small little changes, like mixing up what type of potato you're having just adds more of a variety. And I like sweet potatoes because you can um, have them with like salt or like chop them up into fries and make them more savory or you can put it with sugar-free maple syrup and make it like a little bit sweeter. So they're a little bit more versatile as well. Um, Jacob loves spices. So we usually get jalapenos to put in his eggs in the morning. We already have some at home, so I'm not gonna grab any more. But we need peanut butter because Jacob has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day and he goes through it so quick. So there's two different types of peanut butter we can pick from. They have their organic creamy peanut butter and then they have their um, simple ingredient peanut butter. Really looking at the ingredient label, the only difference, this does have a little bit of added sugar to it, but it is only two grams of added sugar, um, which makes one extra carb, which is not a huge deal. So. I would rather go with the simple ingredient one, which is like over half of the price and just get this. Um, it's better than going and getting like the regular peanut butter. Um, so you're still making a better choice. You don't always necessarily have to go with like the most expensive one. Small little steps, you know? probably looks so crazy right now talking to myself <laughs> so rice cakes usually I get this but again we have some at home so I'm not gonna get some but that is a really good snack I'll use it as like a pre-workout snack okay this is like the pasta and canned aisle don't really get anything in that Ooh, except for We will get canned chicken because you can make a really good pizza out of canned chicken. I usually love this granola. Um, I'll put this with like Greek yogurt, but last time I was here they had a, or no, I was at the other grocery store and they had a buy one, get one free. 
so I still have one huge bag of granola at home um, but typically I would pick that up which we need pancake mix oh, these boxes are beat to shit okay this is an exact dupe for Kodiak cakes, the protein pancakes. Same macros, taste the exact same as well. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we're coming up on the protein bars. So Jacob always gets the high calorie protein bars. This is 270 calories. I personally like to get the protein bars that are a little bit lower in calorie um, just so I can eat my calories in different ways not just in one small bar so I really liked this one last time yeah this is basically the same thing just 170 calories so I'm gonna get this for myself uh, we need rice So, getting a big bag of jasmine rice. Everyone always thinks to get brown rice when they're trying to eat healthy, but to be honest, brown rice tastes like shit. <laughs> so I'd rather eat jasmine rice because it tastes so much better. Toilet paper, self-explanatory. Okay, now we're coming up on the cheeses. I love these Cajun cheese curds. It's a really good snack. Jacob loves these as well. Um, this reminds me of my childhood because we lived by, <laughs> this is such a weird story, but we lived by Amish people and they were known for making cheese curds. So it's just very nostalgic. Otherwise, deli meat. Just got some oven roasted chicken breast. That's gonna be key to have proteins on hand that you don't have to cook and you can just grab and go. Um, it makes prep a lot easier, especially when you're on the run, and especially to use that as like a backup absolute favorite breakfast sausage of all time this is chicken sausage so it's lower in fat that is the apple maple flavor 10 out of 10. what else do we need salsa we needed salsa where the heck's the salsa oh medium salsa for Jacob's request he likes a little spice but getting it in that container I just feel like that salsa tastes a lot better oh, okay hold up we got some Celsius's we'll get one kiwi and then one watermelon What else, what else, what else? Ooh, I'm gonna get some tofu. So, tofu, good protein, has a little bit of carbs in it, so it's not like a straight protein, like a traditional meat would be, but I really enjoy the flavor, and it's just a good change up as well. So, meats, let me think how much I have in the fridge. I'm gonna guess three days. And I wanna shop for a week, so I'm gonna need at least four days of protein. So, let's get some fish. I love salmon. 
This looks like it has some decent marbling in it. Coloring is pretty good. That's how you know that the salmon is a little bit more fresh. This is a little bit of a bigger piece, so I know it's gonna be enough for Jacob and I. So that's day one. So we need three more. Let's just get some ground beef, because that's easy. Um, I'm gonna get, we're gonna get 90-10. This actually comes in a pretty big bag. So that's two. And let's get some ground chicken. I'm gonna get two of these because they're a little bit smaller. And plus we can always cook this ahead of time and then use this for like lunch the next day and I'd rather have extra so that should cover the dinner proteins oh should we get some more LaCroix I used to hate LaCroix but last time I got it I loved it so we're gonna get some more we're gonna get a new flavor. We're gonna get a raspberry cranberry. So fancy. Okay, <laughs> next thing next. Jacob loves his chicken wings. So I'm gonna get some honey barbecue wings for him. What I love to do for my protein for lunch is um, frozen chicken breast, or sorry, this is chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are gonna have a little bit more fat with it, but it tastes better. And it's not that much fat, um, especially if it is skinless. Um, having it frozen, I can quickly pop it into the air fryer and make a meal like super quick. So like I said, it's always good for lunches. But I need some veggies. absolutely love their rice cauliflower so I'm gonna get two of those this is garlic and herb so it just adds some more flavor love their green beans so I got three of those got a thing of asparagus last time we were here I got some broccoli and it tasted disgusting so I've just gotten the ick for broccoli and I haven't wanted it since so I've just been only eating like green beans and asparagus um Jacob needs bacon for the morning so if I was eating it I would get turkey bacon because it is slightly less fat but Jacob is picking he does not like turkey bacon so I get him regular bacon and plus he can have more dietary fat throughout the day. He's not on a diet, he's just trying to maintain, so it's totally fine. Um, but I do sometimes try to get the lower sodium just so we're making sure he's not getting in too much sodium. Um, I got some cottage cheese at home. That's really good for a snack or even making like a lot of recipes with it. Same thing with Greek yogurt, um, plain Greek yogurt I have at home. I cook with that a lot. Um, vanilla Greek yogurt. I want to say I have like four of them at home. So I'm going to get at least one of these single Greek yogurts. They're a little bit higher in calorie. Like those small ones are only 90 calories. That's 120. Um, but I really love them and I think they taste so much better and I can easily make it fit. But we need almond milk. 30 calorie vanilla egg whites I'll have that in the morning but then Jacob's gonna need regular eggs always got to check if they're cracked because you never know okay that's okay 
That's one. I'm going to get two dozen. So every morning he'll eat three eggs. So just math that out and that's why we get two dozen. And then sometimes I'll throw a regular egg in my food as well. Let me see if there's any like quick lunch meals to grab. Because usually I'll go to Winn-Dixie and pick those up. But if I can find something here, that would just save me a trip. No, I don't see any. Okay, I need to check my list. I need laundry detergent, hot sauce, tortilla shells. <laughs> I cannot forget those. Ooh, this is interesting. 90 second jasmine rice. So if you are wanting even quicker things to cook on the go, this would be the answer. I personally just make a huge batch of jasmine rice so it lasts me a couple of days so I don't have to buy stuff like that just because it is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's an option. Ooh, but I actually do have deodorant here. Smells like my dad, but okay. That will work. So, fun fact, I thought one time getting like the free and clear laundry detergent would be like healthier for you, but it turns out it's just not scented. And since we go to the gym and like sweat so much, it just didn't get our clothes clean. So mistake learned, always buy the scented laundry detergent, kind of a duh. Okay, on to get hot sauce. Jacob just likes the plain cayenne pepper one, kind of similar to like Frank's Red Hot. Oh, fuck, I just opened that. Okay, now I kind of have to buy this. So, technically anything that is like a white bread, like I was saying earlier with the regular bread, it goes through a process where like the healthy minerals ingredients get like removed so technically if you would get like a whole wheat tortilla it would be healthier for you because it has more of the nutrients in there but we already eat healthy enough having one item is going to be okay because we'll get those minerals and shit somewhere else. And plus I kind of already accidentally opened it, so I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> okay. I am gonna go check out. So total for all of that was $168, which isn't bad at all for two people for one whole week. Plus some of those items are gonna last longer than one week. That's really good. And I was able to get 90% of my grocery list. There's a couple items that I still have to go to Winn-Dixie to pick up, such as like Quest protein chips, PB2, and uh, condoms. Because <laughs> even if all these sold condoms, I'm not getting them there. Oof, that was close. But otherwise, that is going to conclude the video. I hope you guys found it informational or entertaining in some way. Um, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe so you see more videos like this when I post them. Otherwise, I will chat with you guys later. Bye. Listen to me as I